Hi everyone. Today we have brought to you one of the most exciting math challenges from the topic permutations and combinations. On your screen, you can see five different balls and these need to be placed in the following three empty boxes. Can you calculate the number of ways of placing these balls into the boxes such that none of the box remains empty? It is given in the question that each box can contain any number of balls. So what are you waiting for? Quickly grab a pen and a notebook and try it out. And after that, we will tell you two different approaches to solve the same problem. Let's begin. So friends, before attempting the question on the title screen, first I want you to guess the answer to this space question. In how many ways can we place these five balls into the three empty boxes? And you may place the balls any way you wish. You may even place all balls into any one box and leave the other two boxes empty. In this base question, we have done away with the constraint that none of the boxes should remain empty. This is a classic question in PNC which can be asked in so many other ways. For instance, you may be asked to post some letters into the post boxes or even put some coins into the pockets of your coat and so on. It goes without saying that the same technique that we are going to use in this question works for other scenarios as well. You have two choices for the answer, 3 raised per 5 or 5 raised per 3. Which one will you pick? Okay, so here is one hit which will help you in all such questions. You must always, always start with the object that goes into something else. Like here in our example, balls go into boxes and not the other way around. So we start with balls. Similarly, letters go into post boxes. So we start with letters here. And coins go into pockets. So we start with coins here. Okay. So in our case, we start with balls. Consider the number of ways in which we can place each ball turn by turn. The first ball can be placed in three ways. Into the first box or into the second box or into the third, isn't it? Corresponding to these three ways of placing the first ball, the second ball can also be placed in three ways. Similarly, the third ball can be placed in three ways, the fourth in three ways, and the fifth also in three ways. And remember, if you decide to place one of these balls in any particular box, it still does not affect your options for other balls because all boxes can contain any number of balls. For example, if I choose green box for the green ball, for the yellow ball, I again have three options, all the three boxes to choose from. In other words, the action of placing one ball remains independent from the action of placing any other ball. So by fundamental rule of counting, we can place all balls together, which means the first and the second and the third and the fourth and the fifth ball in three into three into three into three into three. Remember, and means multiply, so our answer is 3 raised power of 5. By the way, if we had started with boxes and try to see where this thought process goes wrong, when you say box 1 can receive balls in 5 ways, that itself is wrong because if we had to place any one ball into it, it would be 5C1, that is 5 ways in that case. Placing any two balls would be 5c2, that is 10 additional ways. There are a total of 2 raised power 5 ways in which the first box can receive balls. But that's a topic for some other video. So let's get back to our question. Uh, number of ways box 1 can receive balls is not 5. Furthermore, depending on how many balls we place in box 1, the number of ways of placing balls in box 2 would change. So 5 raised power of 3. This option is incorrect. Now we come to our main question. 
in how many ways can we place these five balls into the three empty boxes such that none of the boxes remains empty it's possible that when we are placing these balls into the boxes all balls might go into any one box leaving the other two empty another possibility is that all five balls might together occupy any two boxes out of these leaving the third empty like this is one possible scenario the green purple and red ball into box 1 yellow and blue in box 3 and box number 2 left empty so guys our approach to solve this question is going to be very simple we just calculate the total number of ways of placing these balls we just did that they are 3 raised to the power of 5 out of these if we subtract the number of ways of placing the balls where any two boxes are empty or even any one box is empty then we achieve our objective isn't it so what is the number of ways of placing the balls if any two boxes are empty very simply we first select the two boxes which are left empty 3c2 ways of doing that then all five balls must be placed in the remaining or the third box which can be done in only one way hence there would be three ways of placing the balls if any two boxes remain empty similarly what is the number of ways of placing the balls if any one box is left empty so guys first we select that box which should be empty this can be done in 3c1 ways say this one is empty now all five balls are essentially placed into these two boxes so we go through the whole process all over again the first ball can be placed in two ways correspondingly the second ball can also be placed in two ways two ways for each ball so total 2 raised by of 5 ways of placing all balls together but a word of caution out of these 2 raised by 5 ways we must make sure that none of these two boxes remain empty this time because that would mean a total of 2 boxes go empty instead of one we have already taken that number into account well if all 5 balls go into either this box or into this box then the other box goes empty that is two cases out of these two raised to the power five cases we need to subtract this is equal to 3 and this is 30 so there are 90 ways of placing the balls if exactly one box goes empty to find out our answer we subtract the numbers for these two cases from the total 3 raised to the power five Minus three minus ninety, two forty-three minus three minus ninety. This calculates to one fifty ways, and that is our answer. One fifty ways of placing these five balls into the three empty boxes, such that none of the boxes remains empty. The same question can also be solved by grouping the five balls into three lots. See, there are only two possibilities. These two. Either we have three balls going into one of the boxes and one each in the remaining two, else we have two balls in one of the boxes, two in some other, and the remaining ball in the third box. In these two ways of placing the balls, our required condition that none of the boxes remains empty holds true. Now we just need to count the numbers for each case. So for case number 1 we first select the box which receives three balls say this blue one one box out of three can be selected in 3c1 ways next we select the three balls out of the five given balls to go into that box three out of five so 5c3 ways now the other two boxes receive one ball each so any one of the two balls goes into this box 2c1 ways and the remaining ball goes into the third box again only one way of doing that together there are 3c1 into 5c3 into 2c1 into one ways 
of placing balls in this manner and our number calculates to 60. In the second case where the balls are distributed 2, 2 and 1 into boxes, we first select that box which receives one ball. That box is special. See this purple one. Okay, so 3C one ways of doing that. Next, we select that ball which goes into this box. 5C one ways. Now, the other two boxes receive two balls each. So, out of the four remaining balls, we select two balls for this one. 4C two ways. And the two balls that are left out go into the third box in 2C2. That is one way. Together, these balls can be placed in 3C1 into 5C1 into 4C2 into 2C2 ways. As per this case number 2. This number evaluates to 90. Therefore, our required answer is summation of these two cases. 60 plus 90 and as you can see our answers tally from both approaches. That brings us to an end of this video lesson. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, don't forget to press the like button and also do subscribe our channel. Here is a glimpse of other popular maths videos on our channel. So stay tuned and happy learning. Bye-bye.